Okay, fam, it is your last day for 25X entries to win this truck plus $5,000 cash. So if you want to get those 25X bonus entries, it is now or never. Yes, you like my double hat setup, and I know you're going to comment something about how amazing it is. But before you do that, you should probably go grab those 25X entries because your time is running out because tonight at midnight, 25X entries are gone. They will not be back. If you want to grab them this time, you have to get them at the beginning of the giveaway or you will not get in on 25X entries. We've also got, hopefully, a winner for Nasty Red today. Somebody clearly came in here and got into my tools. <coughs> my wife. Let's get you a nice 10 degree cold start here. going to be installing some parts on my dad's King Ranch that were sent in by our good friends over at Boost Auto Parts. Link is in the description below. I'm going to leave a link directly to this product because this is something that is absolutely seemingly needed for any newer or modern vehicles of this day and age because pretty much everybody's phone now with smartphones and everything can wirelessly phone charge and although plugging in your phone isn't always a big deal it's definitely a convenience if you have a wireless phone charging station and that's what boost auto parts has created for these trucks right here so i'm going to get this truck unlocked and get to the installation process right now so i'm sitting in the king ranch and all you're going to need for this as far as i understand you're going to need a drill with a drill bit this is a 3 8 inch i don't know if you have to use a specific size I just know that it's got to be big enough to feed some wiring through in a spot but don't let the drill bit scare you there's not a whole lot you're gonna do with it that could really damage anything and then you need a trim removal tool although I do not have one I do have this really small flat head here I just happen to find this in the door uh, there's really no other reason why I'm using this I found it in the door I'm like that'll be perfect so let's get to the parts that come with this kit I actually already unboxed it just because I didn't want to uh, have to go through cutting boxes open and removing other stuff in the truck here but I will simply remove what they sent us here and show you what we got so it is a retrofit wireless phone charging station for the I believe 2011 to 16 Super Duty Trucks. This is the wireless phone charging pad. Here's your new cup holder insert, and I'll show you the purpose of this in a little bit here. Your wiring, everything is plug and play. They made it super, super, super simple. They have an install video. I'll also try to link in case you wanna watch theirs instead for the installation purpose, because maybe theirs is a little better and to the point, I don't know. Uh, but I watched it and I was like, it's five minutes and it's super quick and easy so if you guys want to see their video i'll try to link that below comes with a couple of small trim screws for fastening i believe this to this once you get that installed and then they sent you a plug and play wiring harness kit with an adapter as well and as far as i know this is a completely plug and play wiring harness that they send you this to replace the connection to your 12 volt i guess what you would call in the old school vehicles, they would use these as a cigarette <laughs> lighter port there. This is going to go into there, and then it comes with an adapter for that to plug into so that you also have your wiring that goes to the phone charging station. That way you don't have to, like, splice wires and anything else. It's, it's literally plug and play. Let's get to the installation. I'm going to try to make it as simple as possible, but just remember, if you want to get this, this exact charger here is only provided by Boost Auto Parts. If you want to see it, it's very inexpensive and uh, it's a super super straightforward and straight to the point process to install this thing so let's get to it so the first thing you're going to do is take your trim removal tool if you've got one and if you're like me and you don't have one take your little tiny screwdriver be very careful don't break nothing then as you can see that right there pops out and I believe you just pinch this clip back here and that just will unplug like that. Pull these cup holder inserts out, which is super, super simple by the way. You just give them a little tug and they pop right out. And make sure when you're gonna pop this trim off, you open up the center console. So now this entire piece, you just kind of slide this out. This would be a good time to clean this out if you want to clean it out because 
dirt and stuff can settle in there over the years. For your next step, you're gonna take your supplied Boost Auto Parts wiring, your plug and play wiring, and you're going to plug this piece of the wiring here. And you're gonna take this wiring, plug it right back in, just like that. And then you're gonna take this end and you're gonna plug it back into the Ford factory wiring, just like so. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna take your wiring harness that they give you here, and you're gonna fish it down through here, and then you'll just pull all of your slack through until it's all pulled out. And then you'll just take your 12 volt source here and snap it back in, just like that. And so then the next step, you're gonna take the cup holder insert that they give you, and you're gonna snap it into the front section of your cup holder tray here, which if you have this, it's gonna be closer to like this tray right here at the front. So then what you're gonna do once you got the snapped into the front portion out of your four cup holders, is gonna be the front two closest to like your navigation screen or radio if you have one by this little tray here. Then just flip it over directly like this. And you see this hole here, your wiring is gonna feed through that hole there. So if you want this to mount flush and snap back in like factory, you're gonna take your Dremel or your drill bit and you're just gonna drill it out slowly right there until it sits about flush with the bottom of that tray. So I'll start mine and then I'll show you what it looks like when it's done. Then once it's done, it might look about like this and you're just creating a little notch there for that wiring to seamlessly feed through there without creating any kind of fitment issues with your tray going back in. So now that you've got that notched out, you can pull this back out, reinstall your tray, then what you're gonna do is decide whether you want your charging to be in the front closer towards your navigation or radio end or in the rear that's closer towards like your center console box. For this one I'm gonna put it closer towards the front that way he can have his cup holders more available closer to his hand. That's just preference, you can do it either way you want. But once you decide that, you want to drill a hole through the tray right through there and that way you can fish your wiring up through there. Now when reinstalling your trim piece, make sure you pull your wiring up through and you pull it through the notch that we made right here, but make sure the wiring behind there, you set it right along this ridge here and then it feeds through the notch that you made in your cup holder trim piece right there. So your wiring should come through that hole and it should have a little bit of play to wiggle in and out and that just ensures that it's not pinched up. And then what you're gonna do is you're gonna reinstall your Ford factory tray. I actually drilled two holes, one for the front section or I drilled a hole down here in case he wants to have his charging station move closer to his center console lid. But you know, that's just preference and based on where you want it. So I got my wiring fed up through the hole that I drilled and then it just snaps right back in and then you can feed all the wiring that you don't need right back in there to hide it underneath. Okay, then I snap that down in there. I'm then gonna take my phone charging pad. I'm going to remove the rubber very carefully and it just gently pulls off. I'm gonna take my wiring that I just got done feeding through and it's just gonna plug in like so and you can fish more of it down through that hole that you drilled. And then you're gonna lay this tray right on top here and make sure the holes line up properly. And then you're gonna take your four little tiny Phillips head trim screws and you're gonna put them in the four holes designated for these screws right here. Everything's pre-drilled, just take a tiny Phillips head and very carefully thread these in. And then you're gonna take your rubber charging pad that you just removed, line it up with the proper holes and it'll snap right back into place where it's supposed to be. And then take one of your cup holders, snap them right back in. And then, for the final test, phone charger, look at that. Charging the phone 
right up. Boost Auto Parts makes their stuff so freaking simple and so plug and play. I mean, this literally took me like 15 minutes and that was including taking my time to try to explain some steps. I mean, it's a super, super simple process. Uh, even if you're somebody that doesn't normally like to do installs on their own and just kind of have somebody else do it, even those of you that are like that could pretty much figure this out with your eyes closed. I mean, it's super simple. And Boost Auto Parts also sent us the mirrors for that blue 24 valve over there that you guys can enter to win. And uh, like I said, guys, we don't work with companies unless we like the companies and we like what they produce in the manner that they produce things. And uh, Boost Auto Parts is one of those companies that creates accessories that are super plug and play, super streamlined. They're super simple to use, but they're also super high quality. There's companies that make stuff that's like decent, like it's okay. And then there's companies that go above and beyond just to make sure that you have all the complicated stuff as simplified as possible so you're not struggling to figure something out. It's super easy. So I'm going to leave the links in the description below for the tutorial to install just in case this one wasn't as helpful as theirs was, which theirs was very simple. I'm also going to leave a link in the description below for you guys to go check this out. This is definitely one of the coolest upgrades in terms of interior upgrades for these Fords, I think. I mean, that's super slick. And let's be honest, Pretty much all of us, if we had this option in our truck, we'd probably use it on a regular basis. So if you have one of these trucks and you'd like to get one of these, definitely don't waste any time. Just head on over there and pick one up because I'm sure they're gonna be in high demand and this is actually the launch and release of this product. So if you guys wanna go check it out, grab one while you can. If I could have one of these in a second gen, I don't even know how you do it because there's just, just not as much going on with second gen interior, uh, maybe to make this work, but I think you guys are the type of company to figure it out. If you could somehow create a wireless phone charging station for a second gen Dodge, my audience would go nuts. I would go nuts. I'd put these in every single freaking second gen that we have. I don't know how you would do it. If we could somehow figure something out for a Dodge 2, that would that would be pretty stinking cool. Well, we got a winner for Nasty Red, the 12 valve Cummins. Hopefully you guys can hear me okay. I do have Mr. Clean running with the heat on because it is freaking cold. I turned the fan down as far as it can go for now though, so it's not so obnoxious. But I do need some heat on because it's it's bitter cold. I'm going to call the winner of Nasty Red, the 12 valve Cummins right now. Those of you who don't know anything about Nasty Red, it is a fan favorite truck. It's been on our channel for, shoot, I think since, late 2017 maybe or early 2018 but it's been on our channel for quite some time we've done everything from top to bottom on that truck that was done to it um, we either did ourselves or we hired out some work to be done to it so that truck went from bone stock trash bed on the side of the road for five thousand bucks to be in the truck that you guys now know is nasty red the 12 out Cummins. He's located in Loudonville, Ohio. Hello, can you hear me? Yes, sir. Hey, how's it going, man? It's going good. It's going, I'm sure it's going a little better today than it was, right? Absolutely. <laughs> that was a call of a lifetime, right? Oh, I sure hope it was. I mean, if it wasn't, I'm not sure how many more would be more of a call of a lifetime if you're into trucks and blowing black smoke and cool stuff like that, so. Congratulations, first off. There's a lot of people that wanted that truck, dude. I mean, that was a fan favorite. Oh, yeah. The, yeah. Nasty, the nasty Red, the one and only. Yeah, I watched the very first video from the time you got it. I subscribed and pulled you up, and I started watching all the videos. And then when I got to Nasty Red, I'm like, I bet you he's going to end up buying that truck. And then I just kept watching and kept watching and kept watching after video after video. I just, like, went into a, what do you want to call it? Binge watch. 
watching. going to be in the process of moving here soon and we're actually moving right out that way so it's going to be it's going to be interesting possibly being able to see that truck driving down the roads you know what i mean <laughs> yep yeah do you uh do you do any snow plowing or anything like that now did you know that it comes with a snow plow I bet you're wishing you had the thing hooked up today then, huh? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. And I'm like, shoot, if I'd have had that already. So I, have, I hired somebody, I, I called some, a, a close friend of mine that had somebody with a plow. Yeah. To come and plow me and my father along and my kids out. And I'm like, if I only had that truck. Well. A plow, I could have done all this myself. But yeah. now I, it, it's a thing, right? Yeah, that's what I was going to say. I said, you won't have to worry about that. That thought of maybe having it soon. I said, you'll, you'll have it soon as can be. That's crazy. Hey, dude, congratulations. I'm sure you've got work you got to tend to here soon, so I don't want to take up too much more of your time. Super happy for you, man. I don't plan on changing anything on it. It'll still look the same. Well, perfect. Even better. Well, I'm just making it work. <laughs> It'll do that with ease. That thing, it doesn't matter what we throw behind it. it you can just put it in drive and it'll idle pulling it down the road. I mean, it's just unbelievable. And the next thing will be a trailer. Yes, for sure, for sure, and it'll pull it with joy. <laughs> so whether we work it out to where we just, we bring it out to you or you wanna come pick it up, either way is not any big deal. You just let me know through text, we'll be in contact and you'll have the famous nasty red 12 valve compound turbo truck and five grand in your driveway no time. That's amazing. <laughs> hey, you take care, man. Yes, you too. Yep, talk to you soon. Bye. Well, there you have it, guys. Roger Smith out of Loudonville, Ohio. This is, I don't think we've had an Ohio winner in a long time. I think our first winner ever was out of Ohio, and this is the first time we've had another Ohio winner since then. Can't wait to meet him, get him his truck. We might actually take this truck out to him, depending on what he decides he wants to do, but it wouldn't be out of our way to go out to him just because he's not that far. And I know the area, you know, and he's right by a uh, family of ours, you know, so it wouldn't be, a, wouldn't be a bad idea to go take it off and see where it's gonna be spending its time. He said that they just got eight inches of snow yesterday. He's like, yeah, that plow sure would be nice. He said, we got eight inches of snow out in the driveway right now. So anyways, guys, that is, um, that's it. Nasty Red, we're gonna probably see it one more time or two. And uh, the last one or two of those times is gonna be taking it to its due owner. So thanks so much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you wanna get entered to win this beautiful 24 valve Cummins plus $5,000 cash that's wrapped in satin ocean shipper blue, all you gotta do is go to lmpgear.com, place an order, and you're automatically entered to win. But you gotta get those entries in. If you want 25X bonus entries, you've got to get those entries in tonight because it is going to then drop down to 1X entry, and 25X entries will not be back for the rest of this giveaway. So if you wanna grab those 25X entries, don't waste any time because this truck plus $5,000 cash, just like it happened for Roger Smith, could be yours. So don't miss out on the opportunity. Thanks so much, guys, for all the love and all the support. Leave a thumbs up if you liked the video, comment down below. Don't forget to check out Boost Auto Parts and all the accessories that they have to offer for your trucks. And I'll catch you guys in the next video.